Hello, good evening and welcome to Star Sport. We continue bringing to the highlight the stars that make certain sports disciplines tick. And this time, we're saying we haven't forgotten about volleyball. Volleyball apparently has been one of those sports that has brought a lot, a lot of honor to this country. We're featuring a young man, his name is Terence Chivula. He's done so much in volleyball. He's been playing volleyball actively from 1986 when he was still at secondary school. He's now a lawyer, but he still says he can continue. Terence, it's a pleasure to have you on the program. Thank you very much. Uh, just tell us a bit about yourself. I've, I've already said that you started playing uh, uh, active volleyball in a secondary school. Um, what else do we need to know about you? Well, first of all, um, well, my, I was born in 1970 uh, in Mazabuka and I was um, brought up just there. I went to secondary school at uh, Nakambana Primary School. Before I proceeded to secondary school at um, uh, St. Edmund's Secondary School. Then I came to University of Zambia in 1990. Yeah, so I'm single. I'm, uh, well, although I'm dating someone seriously, <laughs> I'm not married yet. And I've been playing uh, club volleyball for the past eight years now, since 1990, when I joined Bank of Zambia Volleyball Club. Yeah, and I'm fourth in the family of five. Um, otherwise, I'm practicing law at the moment, as you've already said it, and playing volleyball. Yeah. Now, uh, practicing law at the same time, uh, playing uh, volleyball, for example, uh, actively, can be quite involving. How are you managing to divide time to, to, you know, to, 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 to carry out both assignments? Well, it's, it's really taxing because, you know, we have to, uh, I have to do my work and sometimes I have to go with the files at home to, to do extra work for the following day. At the same time after work, I have to uh, assign part of my time to practicing. But, uh, you know, I love volleyball very much and um, I always find time, even if it means that I have to sleep late doing my work, I have to divide my time from uh, 4.30 to probably 19 hours uh, for my volleyball practice. Do you foresee uh, your career coming into conflict with uh, your sport sometime in future? Well, definitely, but uh, at the moment, I, I'm only hoping that uh, I will not be engaged in uh, uh, professional duties that will hinder me from uh, playing volleyball. But uh, whatever means it takes, uh, I'm sure that volleyball is not like probably football that you have to practice in the morning, throughout the afternoon. Uh, volleyball is an indoor game and once in Zambia we have indoor uh, gymnasiums uh, we will be able to play volleyball even at night okay. yes now um, would you just uh, tell us which club you're playing for at the moment at the moment I'm playing for City of the Saka Volleyball Club yes and how is the team doing the team is doing fine actually we we all, all of us, all players, we're, we're from Bank of Zambia. We are originally Bank of Zambia players, but uh, we broke away from Bank of Zambia, I think, uh, beginning of 96. And since 1996 to date, we've been champions in Zambia, and we, we've never looked back after that. Would you just like to tell us, uh, you know, a, a bit about your volleyball experiences at local level? Do you think it is worth being a volleyball player, for example? Because I think that uh, there's been a, a tendency of giving a lot of support towards soccer that's definitely true but how how is it in volleyball well it, it hasn't been a very smooth you know sailing it, it's been very hard for us volleyball players but uh, <clears throat> we, we're trying our best because you see like uh, for example our club most of us are, are employed and we've gone to school and we've got uh, steady employment and we try to um, probably on top of uh, the sponsorship that we get from City of Osaka and although it's obviously meager, we try to get our resources together and probably even travel outside uh, the town to play volleyball. But uh, in short, it hasn't been easy for us, but we're trying our best because we're trying to preserve volleyball. We cannot just give up all of us. 
I understand that you've had a stint in South Africa and some other countries somewhere in the, in the, in the sub-region and where you've played what's known as beach volleyball. Would you just try to tell us, would you just explain to us what beach volleyball means and what the experiences were when you were there? Yes, uh, beach volleyball is uh, a very um, new game in volleyball. It hasn't been, it, it was just recognized uh, uh, in the Olympics, in the last Olympics. That was the first time they played beach volleyball. But it's very popular in America. It's not played in many countries. It's also popular in South Africa. It's played, there are two people playing on each side, you know. And uh, the rules are slightly different from uh, the normal hard court volleyball we know about. But um, my experience in South Africa has been very, very educative. I first started playing beach volleyball uh, in Namibia. I was introduced to beach volleyball by a friend of mine who plays in Namibia, Dion Klute. And uh, we, uh, we managed to obtain sponsorship from Namibia. Um, uh, that's uh, Friedels and Target Science sponsored us to play in the Coca-Cola Championship, which was held in March 19. 1997 in uh, Vindok and uh, we well, are fortunate enough you know we, we emerged winners in that tournament and that is an experience I'll never forget okay. and uh, last last year late last year we had a stint in um, Cape Town uh, we played uh, at Camps Bay and we, we lost in the quarterfinals to the eventual winners of the tournament and then we moved the circuit to Swakomond in Namibia where we lost in the semis but all together uh, it's been a very nice moment of my life and we, we we won quite an adequate amount of money actually for our shopping okay. yeah now uh, could it be that by the name beach volleyball it's played by the beach and um, uh, would it also be that you only have to be with a certain partner that can be your pa that can be paired with you at all the times well beach volleyball as the name suggests is played on the beach because it's played on a, on sand and uh, beach sand is the base for the game uh, in terms of partners, uh, you can have a partner anywhere, whoever like, wants to be your partner. As I have a partner in Namibia, it, my, my partner is not Zambian and my, uh, my sponsors are not Zambians. My sponsors are Namibian and my partner is from Namibia. If I want, I can get a sponsor from United States and if I have the, the, the means, I can travel to United States or Japan to go and play beach volleyball. That sounds quite interesting. Do you think, do we ever stand a chance of introducing in that kind of sport in this country for example because I think we've got places where we have a bit of uh, sand uh, you know beaches for example and can can a game like that be popular here yeah definitely because I can give you an example of um, the kind of uh, courts that we used in Vindok uh, Vindok is if you, you look at the map it's not on the beach you know the the towns that are on the beach are Wavis Bay, Swakomon so they introduced an artificial beach where they have to transfer you know sand to to the capital city Vindok and produced a very nice artificial beach so which means that uh, even in Zambia you know we can get really good fine sand from somewhere introduce it in Lusaka you know and uh, introduce beach volleyball in Zambia and even probably get sponsors from here and uh, see players going to South Africa to play beach volleyball and uh, and by the way you know I was so, so impressed that uh, on the beach I played uh, uh, against uh, really old people, you know, people over 35, some 40 years old, you know, but they are still playing beach because it's kind of interesting. Okay. And right now the, the oldest player who plays beach volleyball must be 45, he's from America. Okay, yeah. we see that. Um, let's get back to our local organization of volleyball. Just how do you look at it? You've been in volleyball for some time now and I'm sure by now you're considered almost a very senior player now how is the local organization and if uh, how is it affecting the sport as a whole in this country well the the local organization definitely over the years over the few years hasn't really done a lot for volleyball um, but um, right now they're trying all their best you know because we we have said it over and again that you see beach uh, volleyball is going down you know so there's a lot that needs to be done and uh, the local associations are really doing their best they can, they can uh, even if they definitely need a lot of funding from government and other interest you know 
uh, sponsors, NGOs, and uh, individuals. They really need a lot of support, and without that funding, they'll not be able to even reach out to certain parts of the country that will, will still to tap talent. I can give an example of uh, Southern Province. Some years back, they used to have a lot of uh, nice volleyball teams. The Copper Belt was major, you know, uh, or, um, uh, origination of this volleyball. You know, m many players really played in the ZCCM teams, and uh, because of the funding and all these teams have gone down. At the moment, there's only one serious team from the Copper Belt, which is in Denny. So you can see how uh, uh, a lot of factors have, intro you know, uh, contributed to the declining of volleyball in Zambia. Mm -hmm. yeah. So in this case, would you pinpoint who to blame? Has it always been lack of proper organization of the sport, or or has it been that uh, maybe some sponsors or the government in particular has not been able to fund uh, uh, Zava adequately? Well, I don't really know who to point uh, fingers at, but definitely the, the main culprit would be the government. Okay. Yeah, but... Um Again, even on the part of the players, you know, we, we really need sacrifice, you know. Uh, our club, when we broke off from C Bank of Zambia, we went to City of Lusaka. If it was any other club, football club, we've seen football clubs going down. They cannot, they cannot come together as players and say that this is what we want and we'll go on, to, we'll go on playing. At the moment, we, 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 we are really undergoing very difficult moments, but our club has stuck together, you know, as individuals that we, we're going to play volleyball, whatever it takes. We've traveled, last year we've traveled without any funding from our sponsors. We've traveled to the Copper Belt just using our resources. And we will not stop at, we will not stop at that. And if it means that going for any championship outside Zambia, we'll come together and find sponsors and that's quite that's quite a great ambition uh terence and i must uh, you know look forward to, to to that myself uh from the look of uh the trophies that you have here it looks like you've had the best of moments and you know you've brought quite a great deal of honor to this country would you just like to tell us about your experiences you know the best moments in your volleyball career yes uh these are just part of the trophies that i won because i couldn't locate the others you know yeah but um uh, my greatest moments um, in volleyball, uh, definitely the beach volleyball was great, you know, on the beach, you know, seeing nice women on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> it was really great, you know, the first experience on the beach in Cape Town. Cape Town is such a nice city and um, my next moment was when we won as Bank of Zambia, we won, we won the Zone 6 and uh, Eastern Central Club Championship just here in Lusaka. When was that? Uh, the Eastern Central Club Championship, we won it in 92. Uh, we won the Zone 6 Club Championship in 95. And um, they, they haven't played since then. So the, 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 the version we're going to play on from 20th of this month to 21st is, uh, is the only one after the, the, ones we, the, the one we won. So we're really training hard for, to have those great moments again. But otherwise, my other great moments were when I traveled with the university team in uh, the Cooks again since 93, you know, and we beat South Africa in Malawi in 1996. I, cannot, I won't forget that moment. Okay. Yeah. That sounds uh, quite fun. Now, which, which is your dream team, Terence? You must be having a team which you always think about it. If they sat together or if you were combined together as a team for Zambia, you definitely deliver the goods. Which names would you like to point to pinpoint here? Yeah, yeah um, actually, my dream team is definitely a certain team that that comprises of certain players. Right. You know, especially in Zambia, is a national team. Uh, I can pinpoint really good players that if we we came up together, we would uh, we would never fail Zambia. Right. You know, from Indeni, there are names like uh, uh, George Silengo. You know, uh, there are Seta Suzio, there's Brian uh, and Chaonza. Uh, then we have players at City, Elton Tower, Moses Piri, Steven Kasinsa, Austin Ngambi, very, very good players. Then there are other players like Green Eagles, they, they have uh, Pelekelo and their setter, uh, 
uh, uh, Chikulu. Very, very good players. If we combine together and we were given adequate funding definitely for our camping and, uh, and given reasonable time, I don't think we would, would fail Zambia. So should we say that, should we look forward perhaps to that kind of team when you start playing in the Zone 6 come June 20th? Well, in the June, uh, the, the next Zone 6 club championship, there are club championships, so we won't be combining together like national team. But our team, our team has one of the best players in the country. It's, it comprises of about six, seven internationals. So it's like a national team on itself. So we, we are really a good team that um, uh, everyone has to really give us support when we go into uh, those games on 20th. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Having told us that's the best of uh, the best moments in your life, uh, Terence, there must be a dent somewhere. You know, what do you remember as having been the saddest moment in your life? Well, the saddest moment in my life definitely uh, to do related to volleyball. Yeah, related to volleyball is um, when we when we broke away from Bank of Zambia. It wasn't easy, you know. It wasn't easy, you know. Bank of Zambia kept us for a very long time and we, we were real we were champions that time we were really a good team compatible team and uh, we, we all thought that you know they they would really give us credit and keep on sponsoring us even if they had to sh to to get away with you know do away with other teams uh, that is one of my saddest moments actually yeah um you must be having a hobby or an, uh, an ambition also. What do you want to see of volleyball in, the, in, in, this, in, in Zambia, for example, in the, in the near future or by the year 2000? I really want to see young players coming up, you know, uh, in secondary schools, in primary schools, and even social, you know, these local communities, you know, coming together and play volleyball. Volleyball is a very interesting game, and uh, it's, it involves a lot of intelligence. You know, it's not like other sports where maybe you just kick the ball, and as long as you put it behind the net, it doesn't, it doesn't matter what you do. You really have to think, and it will really help a lot of uh, youngsters, you know, to, to improve their thinking capabilities and keep them away from crime and other things. I really want um, uh, young players to come up because as the trend is at the moment, if we all uh, stop playing volleyball, I don't think it can survive for the next five years. Okay. Have you, talking about the youth and, and the future, have you identified any particular young groups or young organizations which can uh, uh, be worth uh, sponsoring you know in the near future to to carry on the the volleyball name in this country yeah there are a lot of them actually you see um, uh, I can give you an example of uh, at the moment uh, many many players about four or five players you know youngsters you know that we can all look at you know in the, in the years to come uh, Kamala secondary schools got good young players uh, Matero girls got a very good team you know and uh, uh, in the copper belt, when you when you watch these the the formerly sponsored Colgate family sponsored tournament, uh, you see a lot of youngsters coming up. But what what happens is after they finish school, you know, there's no that uh, uh, continuation. continuation. You know, they they don't have that incentive to continue playing volleyball. You know, so that's what we need to 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 see to uh, companies to come up and just sponsor volleyball or uh, these minor sport because they're not so expensive like at the moment we, we probably at city of the soccer we probably only need six million for the whole year you know all we need are turkeys and and uh, uh, maybe transport money for the players and volleyballs that that's all okay. yeah yeah uh -huh. Albert what do you think about uh, volleyball as a sport in this country uh, it's a very good game uh, looking at the fact that uh, it brings together box both uh, sexes that is the ladies and uh, the men mm -hmm. uh, uh, I should look at also the area where it is uh, played. We can play social volleyball. We can also play it in schools, and I think uh, even at club level. Okay. Uh, now we've got Terence here as one of the uh, the main uh, players that we look at. Mm. Uh, how do you look at his potential? Uh, he's a good player, very good guy, yeah. and I think uh, given opportunity, he can excel in volleyball, yeah. even in on professional. Uh, standards. Yeah, it's worthwhile. The only problem is uh, of late the association hasn't been active, but with the current association, it's like it's promising. We are putting in place, I think, the new leadership. I think it will 
pick up. Okay. You are a clubmate uh, with uh, Terence. I mean, how do you look at his potential as a player? Terence has got a lot of potential as a player. He's been an inspirational player to the whole team. He captained us when we were at Bank of Zambia. And I think he's a great future in volleyball. Uh, okay, I've played for the national team for quite some time. Uh, yeah, it is worth it. All we need is just uh, support. Uh, Terence happens to be a clubmate. How do you look at his potential as a player? Okay, so far, Terence has been the um, best player in the country, so to say. As uh, he's the only player for the past, let's say, one year. He's the only player who has been playing uh, beach volleyball. That's uh, an international game. Well, volleyball is a, is a really very enjoyable sport. This is a sport which is played by people uh, socializing in the early ages, like it is. It happens with soccer. It's a game which is easy to play. People play around with the ball with their hands and that kind of thing. Uh, it's very enjoyable in the country. Volleyball. Uh, there was a time that uh, we mourned the death of volleyball. It had gone really down. What we're seeing now is that it's coming up. We're having more participation from the teams. We're getting more seriousness from the teams. The teams are working harder on the court. So I think we are moving back to where volleyball originally was, which was one of the top sports in the country. You happen to have uh, uh, Terence, who is also a very uh, good national material. How do you look at his potential? Well, Terence has been a very good player for some time. I'm dating back from the time that he was uh, at the university. He moved the team to winning uh, several university championships. Uh, he's played for Bank of Zambia, where they've participated in Zone 6, which again are international games. Uh, he's participated in that very well. Currently, he's with City of Lusaka, one of the real dependable players they've got. He's won a lot of uh, silverware for the team. He's been capped for the national team several times. He's still currently on the log of the national team players. He's one of those players who's very inspirational uh, in the team. Uh, as an individual, he's very disciplined. Uh, he's, he works hard at training. He's one of those guys we really look up to uh, whenever we're thinking about setting up a team, setting up a side, and looking at how the side is going to perform. Terence is the guy who would fall back on. Uh, volleyball is a game that has great potential for Zambia. Uh, and like other sports, um, volleyball is a very cheap game to play. All you need is a pair of pots, a net, and a ball. What are you as an association doing to promote it? I think the, the sun has gone down at a certain time and uh, we see it coming up to, to, to the peak now. What are you doing about that? Yes, we're doing, trying to do quite a lot of things to improve the level of play in this country by way of increasing the number of games that we're playing. Like what we've done so far this year is to arrange uh, regular league games every two weeks and then tournaments in between. But other than that, what we're trying to do also is to invest in uh, youth volleyball. So we are working out a program in conjunction with the schools uh, association to try and get uh, people that are established with clubs to help train the youths in the schools. Uh, Terence happens to be playing uh, as one of your players, your major players in the team. How do you look at his potential? Well, Terence is, uh, is a great player. He's got tremendous uh, potential for even greater things other than just playing locally within Zambia. He has so far, in fact, even taken part in beach volleyball at international level in South Africa and Namibia and one other place. Uh, but as an individual, he's, he's, he's an inspiration to upcoming players in that he's very disciplined. He sticks to his training schedules. And I think he, he's a player that uh, any young volleyball player should be looking up to. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Terence, you must have been having uh, some gentleman out there or some lady who founded you, so to speak, a founder coach or something. Who do you want to give your credit to as a person who really told you that, well, why don't you go on, this thing is good for you and you're really proud of that person? Well, uh, I, I can go back to when I was at secondary school. Originally, you might want to know that I used to play soccer okay. just as any other you know, boys and sportsmen in Zambia. Uh, I actually played very active soccer at Nakambala Leopards. Yeah. So uh, then uh, because of school, my parents were very, very strict about school. Uh, that's how I just stopped soccer because it was consuming a lot of uh, time. Then this, uh, a friend of mine, Christopher Walimuntu, together with uh, uh, Alois Namasiku, introduced me to volleyball. So that's how I started playing volleyball and I was encouraged at secondary school by my, my teacher, Mr. Luchembe. He actually inspired me to, to continue playing volleyball and to give me time to to catch up with the rest of the team 
Yes, and uh, when I came to club level one, Mr. Peter Kombani has been my coach since 1990. That sounds like a very good sportsman. Volleyball, soccer, and what else? What other sport? Well, I, I tried to play basketball. And I was... Uh, uh, I used to play badminton and I can play almost all the sport anyway. Yeah. Okay. So tell us finally, what do you have to tell your fans to look out for this year during the volleyball calendar? What should they look forward to? You are back, you are back, you know, we, we, we in form and uh, what should they look out for this year? Well, uh, I want all the fans of volleyball and those who, who like me, of course, but to come and watch us uh, when we, we play Zone 6 Club Championship. It will be held here in Zambia at the Zimco Sports Arena and probably one of the gyms in West of Zambia or International School uh, from 20th to 20th, 25th. And there are a lot of clubs coming all the way from Angola, South Africa, Namibia, Botswana. All our neighbors are coming here. And uh, City of Lusaka is the name. Uh, we are doing our best and uh, uh, we want to, to, to keep the trophy in Zambia. And for us to keep it in Zambia, we need to start now practicing. We've just been chosen in the last tournament yesterday. We finished yesterday. Uh, we beat all the teams and we'll be seeded on the tournament. So we want everyone to come and support us and um, give us financial you know support so that we 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 go you know we go through all these stages of practicing and you know preparations all right. yes all right. terence i'd like to thank you so much and uh, thank you again for making our appearance on star sport anytime i wish you the best this year thank you we've been talking to terence chivula a professional volleyball player he says this year his game for volleyball and he's given us a bit of the calendar for this year's volleyball activities and I'm sure you can look forward to that. Be part of the fun, support volleyball. My name is Floyd Monankopa on Star Sport. On behalf of Thomas Peer, my cameraman, thank you very much. Join us next week, same time.